Hi everyone, today we have our first election results coming in from the 2020 general election and uh, well let's just go ahead and take a look at what it says. Let's go ahead and start off with the presidential race. This is live coming in right now from Politico here. So this is the state of play and I think it is fair to say there's a lot more red than a lot of people including myself had predicted let's go ahead and start off with the states we know are in the trump and biden camp uh, that we didn't necessarily expect florida that is a big one 51.2 47.8 the democrats really thought this year was their year in florida that has not turned out to be a, to be the case trump definitely has hung on to florida uh ohio another state democrats were leading early in the night but no trump wins by almost as much as he did in 2016 that was also quite a surprise looking at the state of iowa uh trump winning by a relatively large margin seven percent i believe in that state texas a lot of democrats had hoped but no, Texas goes plus 6% for Trump. That's a greater margin than a lot of people had predicted for Donald Trump. But granted, Texas is still Texas. Uh, and then, okay, so those are the states that Trump won that were competitive. The states that Biden won that were competitive, really the only actual one is Arizona. Just being completely honest. Arizona has moved to the Biden category. That's the only real swing state that went to Biden. Florida, a swing state, went to Trump. Texas, swing state, went to Trump. Ohio went to Trump. Iowa went to Trump. Now, here's where it gets interesting. 238 electoral for Biden, 213 for Donald Trump right now. In the, uh, in Nebraska 2nd District, Biden is leading. Maine 2nd District, Trump is very, very narrowly leading in that, in that district. Now, here's the thing. If Trump takes Maine 2nd District, that gets him to 214. If, and this is a big one, if he wins, if he wins the following states here, if he is able to actually hang on here and win uh, 213 electorals plus that main district plus North Carolina with its 15 electorals and Georgia. Georgia is a bit more of a question mark than North Carolina. North Carolina, I believe we will probably, it's probably more going to go uh, in one way because we've still got lots of uh, Atlanta suburbs vote still to come in in Georgia so that could conceivably go to Biden but just for the sake of argument let's say Trump is able to win those that gets him to 245 uh, and did we include Alaska in that 213 and that first electoral plus the 16 in Georgia plus the 15 in North Carolina plus three in Alaska that's 248 electorals in total then and here's the big thing. Trump, he really needs to rack some things up. So Pennsylvania, if he takes Pennsylvania, uh, whoops, so 248 plus Pennsylvania, that actually only gets him to 268 electorals. He actually now needs to win both of these states. Michigan, where he's currently barely leading, and Pennsylvania, where he's leading by a pretty good margin. So, he, and, and that's the big thing. Now, here's Biden's path. If Biden is at 238, uh, 238, he adds in Wisconsin. He must, must, must win Wisconsin. 10 electorals, plus Nevada, where he's leading right now. That gets him to 254. 254, when you add in Michigan, is 270. So right now, if you look at Michigan, uh, right now, let's go ahead and uh, Michigan, can't seem to zoom in here. Um, but anyway, Michigan, uh, find your state results. Uh, okay, so 
the state of Michigan. Michigan is a very crucial battle battleground. So right now, Donald Trump is leading in Michigan. Ninety percent of the vote is in. Uh, but again, we are still waiting on some of these counties with the mail-in, uh, mail-in uh, counties, and uh, that's really, that's really something that should be taken into account because a lot of people uh, are assuming that Trump has this in the bag with Michigan and Pennsylvania, but I expect this lead to completely evaporate. There is actually only, only. Uh, how much is that? 16,000 votes separating those two candidates. And so I'm not surprised at all if Biden wins Michigan. And assuming he hangs on in the state, he hangs on in that state of Nevada. He doesn't even need to win Maine second district. He doesn't even need Pennsylvania. He just needs De Nevada, where he's leading. Wisconsin, where he's leading and Michigan, where he is currently behind but is expected to regain that lead. Pennsylvania right now really is the critical one. 64% of the vote is in, 12% 12, 12 differentiation. That's actually quite a lot. It'll be interesting to see if Biden can make up. If I had to, right now I'd say Pennsylvania's jump ball, but if I had to give a Trump or Biden prediction, I'd probably still lean towards Trump in Pennsylvania. So Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Georgia, I'd say, tr and Alaska, I'd say Trump probably narrowed to eke it out. Michigan, Wisconsin, Nevada, Biden, I would think, would be able to eke those. And Maine second is for Trump, but I think Biden would be able to make out w uh, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Nevada. And then that gets him just barely to 270, 268. But it is very, very fair to say, this election... Now that we're, you know, counting mail ballots in Michigan and seeing the margins in Pennsylvania, this election is much closer than a lot of people, including myself. I, it's, I think it's fair to say I got this election pretty wrong. Uh, even though I predicted a Biden win, I'm, I'm still saying Biden's going to win. But the margin, uh, I think it's fair to say that uh, that was not exactly correct. So even though Biden probably going to eke out the presidential race i mean it's 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 not really the it's it's no landslide definitely no landslide not even like a democratic wave situation N not even like a democratic i don't know a democratic mini wave <laughs> if you will but um but yeah let's go ahead and take a look at the 2020 senate map so colorado uh john hickenlooper winning over Cory Gardner, Arizona, Mark Kelly winning over Martha McSally. Both of these are Democratic pickups. Uh, Alabama, though, uh, Tommy Tuberville winning over Doug Jones there in that state. The results we are still waiting. We are still waiting here in Georgia. Uh, we're going to be counting votes. David Perdue, John Ossoff, 50.8 for David Perdue, 94% of the vote is in. We're expecting some more Democratic votes. So, I mean, right now, if I had to bet, I would probably say Perdue holds on so he doesn't go to a runoff. But a runoff definitely is plausible for this seat uh, in the state of Georgia. Obviously, this seat also goes to a runoff. Raphael Warnock, Kelly Leffler. Uh, we'll go to a warnock, uh, a, a runoff. The state of North Carolina, 93% of the voters in. Tom Tillis leading there in that state. I wouldn't be surprised if he was able to pull that off. One of the big shockers here. Michigan is not a massive shocker because we're still expecting mail of ballots. Dan Sullivan obviously winning in Alaska. Susan Collins looking like she's going to hang on in the state of Maine. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the specific main result. I do think it's going to get closer because of ranked choice voting. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Maine. Uh, state of Maine, Senate race there. Uh, not seeming to let us do that. Ah, Senate. So, Susan Collins leading in Maine. If Sarah Gideon is able to get that vote down to 49.9%. Uh, she would be in with a chance. 
uh, and that's just because of how it works because uh, you need 50% plus one in Georgia otherwise uh, otherwise it actually goes and into the second choices of the third party candidates so if you look at the third party candidates Lisa Savage got about five percent of the vote I would I would expect a lot of those voters to go to Sarah Gideon as their uh, as their second choice support uh, if we go into here you can see um, Cumberland County uh, unfortunately we can't actually see how much percent of the result is in but um, this this could this is actually one of the most surprising results of the night Democrats had really hoped they would be able to take out Susan Collins once and for all uh, it does not seem like that was the case tonight okay going back to the main house map house map it's really still a bit too early to say um, to say if the Democrats actually are going to uh, are going to win uh, in terms of gaining seats or if they're actually going to fall behind in those seats. Uh, a lot of races people are keeping an eye on. The Jeff Van Drew, Amy Kennedy race, Jeff Van Drew seems to be winning that. Uh, Jared Golden could hold on in Maine. That was one of the Democrats' most vulnerable incumbent, uh, incumbent representatives. Uh, a lot of these folks here, if you look at um, Andrew Gabranano, Gabanaro in New York 2nd District, and where was it that, um, that, what's it called, Staten Island race? Here, Max Rose, look at this. This really is something, Max Rose losing big time to the Republican there. Uh, in New York, I had actually predicted that would go for the Democrats. Uh, looking at the state of Florida, we had some surprises here. Uh, Salazar took out Donna Shalala in Florida 27. And in Florida 26, Debbie McCussell Powell did not win her re-election either. Uh, taking a look at this one, uh, we're still holding four results there uh, in Texas 24. But a lot of these other folks who... who uh, who Democrats really had hoped people like Chip Roy, uh, other people like Mike Siegel, they were not able to win. And if you look at people like Amar Kamp and Ajar, they were also not able to win. Harley Ruder losing his seat. Well, there was a bright spot here for Chris Christy Smith versus Mike Garcia, though. Um, but, you know, we can, we can dig all day through all these results. Um, a lot of these Pennsylvania seats actually look like they're flipping but again we're still waiting for mail ballots so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of those folks went back over to the Democrats but overall if I had to say probably it's looking like they'll lose a few seats net gain uh, overall but it's again we're still waiting on final results so that's it for today's video guys thank you for watching I'll be back with more uh, tomorrow um, tomorrow or tonight with more results but that's it for today's video guys hope you got some sleep last night uh first video post 2020 results what is this craziness here um so yeah that's it for today's video guys thanks so much and good night